Hello there. So we're going to talk about the mysterious third eye, like that thing that in Doctor Strange, you might see Doctor Strange too, like the something, something of madness. And, you know, at the very end, it's like, you know, Dark Strange <laughs> came out and then his third eye looked really super weird. Um, it doesn't have to be that way. <laughs> um, in fact, you know, having your third eye open and activated and everything shouldn't make you feel like you've got this like physical third eye that's open in the for in your forehead. Um, but you should be able to feel like you can see clearly that you can have an easier vision into the other realms. It is the gateway to your soul and to higher consciousness. It is, it represents light. It's spiritual insight, understanding, clarity, foresight, all of those great things. And we're going to talk about that today on day 13 of Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days. Now, the third eye is your sixth of the seven primary chakras, okay? And it's located approximately right here. Physically, it uh, is believed to correspond with your hypothalamus, with your pituitary gland, and the pineal gland, as well as the eyes, the ears, and the nose. So it is it is the spiritual or energetic representation of your senses, of the senses that perceive sight or light, smell and sound, sight, smell, and sound, not touch, right? So none of the things that in the, in your five senses, right? This, the sensing of touch is directly, right? Um, it's for the physical realm. It's for the physical world. But by the very nature of the third eye and the senses that it is associated with, we can see this is not of the natural. This is of the supernatural. This is not of the physical. It is of the medical. Medical. <laughs> the metaphysical. Honestly, most people, when they say that, oh, I think my third eye is blocked or it's not activated or whatnot, they feel like they lack intuition. They feel like they you know, maybe they're having a difficulty meditating. Maybe they have a difficulty like perceiving and discerning things that are not in the physical realm. And so that's usually where we're finding that we, we find that, that there are issues, um, that there is a lack of activation, that it's out of balance, that it is not operating properly and cannot focus properly in on what it's meant to focus in on, which is to have insight into the other realms. It is your sight outside of the physical sight. It is your ability. It, it, it garners the ability for you to perceive things that are imperceptible to the naked eye, to the ears, right? To the physical realm. It is, it is that extrasensory perception. So when you just know something or when you see in the future, you know, if you're a seer, um, if you, if, you know, when you just know things and you've got that, right? If you're a dreamer, um, all these different things, right? That is, that's your third eye in action. I was, I'm going to say to you that the vast majority of us, our third eye is already acting, reacting, it's functioning. The problem comes in, in that um, some of us have kind of knowingly turned it off or maybe unknowingly because we're told like, oh, well, that's just crazy. Like, there's no way that you just knew that. Or there's your intu intuition is not something that is celebrated. It is something that tends to be denigrated. And that has a significant effect on your ability to manifest. Why is that? Because if you cannot perceive things in the metaphysical realm, if you cannot perceive your future self, it's so much to such a high degree and with such um clarity that you cannot visualize it, that means you cannot attach yourself to any outcome. And definitely not the outcome that you really want. Because the sight and the imagination, right, happens in this third eye area. That's where imagination lies. This is like gateway to the heavens. Now we'll talk about the crown chakra next on day 14. But this is an additional gateway. This is like, to me, the third eye is kind of the translator 
of all of the information that we get like through the crown and it kind of translates it and then says, okay, this is what it really means in human speak <laughs> in the physical realm. This is what it means. And then that allows the rest of your being to process that energy, process that imagination, process that information, and then create something magical. In other words, manifest it. It, it is beginning to get tears so that it can come to your throat and you can speak it out. And then your heart begins to believe it. And then your solar plexus, the sun begins to shine on your sacral chakra, which is that good fertile ground of creation. And then your root chakra roots it in so that you can finally what? Manifest it or many hand fast, like feel, have, you can possess it. It festers in your hand. So if you lack sight, right? My people perish for um, lack of vision. I'm butchering that. <laughs> I'm butchering that. But that's true. If you have no vision, you, you're not going to make it. You can't dream. You're not, you can't manifest. So it's very important that we balance and that we activate and that um, we honor, right? The, the beautiful gift of our third eye. Now, it is typically represented by indigo, so, um, and represents like spiritual awareness and insight, right? And intuition. So crystals like amethysts, right? Um, lapis lazuli, um, even soda light, all of those black, uh, blue kyanite, all of those really enhance and assist, um, your, the frequencies that these, that these different, um, crystals give off they enhance and they assist your third eye. Okay. Um, when you are meditating the Om, that mantra, that, right. Did you feel that? I felt that. That assists in balancing that frequency. Okay. Honoring your intuitive nature. So when you just know that you know that you know something and it comes to pass, when you had a feeling something was going to happen and then it happens, I want you to honor that. I want you to be like, I knew that was going to happen, right? And pay attention to all those little things during the day because that begins to strengthen your third eye, okay? That begins to strengthen your third eye. One last thing before I let you go. Activating your third eye does not mean that you are tapping into some other realm that you don't need to. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you're going to be talking to shadow spirits or anything like that. Activating your third, third eye is like activating another one of your senses. So you don't want to walk around here like willingly unable to see your future, unable to see into the other realms, unable to see all these things, do you? So it's really super important, especially if you want to have the life that you desire, that you're able to see that what that life really looks like and that you're able to visualize it clearly, not just in a third, a 3D realm, but in the 5D so that you can get the fullness and the breath and the, and the beauty of all of it. So third eye healing is very critical in this process. All right, we've come a long way in 13 days, right? So I want you to go on and again, go on YouTube, go on Insta, go on like uh, Spotify or iTunes, find yourself some third eye chakra healing, right? Um, music and yeah, and, and listen to that, meditate with it, sleep by it, get yourself some amethyst, some crystals, and just relax and have fun with your intuition. All right, we're going to see you again very, very soon. But until then, never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Talk to you soon. Bye.